Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's walk round. Come we? This behind me is Conway Castle. It's very famous in Conway for being a castle. And it's built by the Romans and they were very clever people because they built this before they were even invented. The Romans that is, which is very clever. Also, they incorporated a road as well, which you may or may not be able to see, that actually runs under it. So forward thinking in more ways than one. Even the non-medieval Roman architecture is stunning here in Conway. Of course, when you've got a castle this big, you need to give people food and water. And water, well, there's lots of sea nearby, but that's no good, because let's be honest, it's salt water, the seawater. But what you can do is, you can make a well. And here, we've got the well that was made by the people back in the day. Unfortunately, they didn't get very far so no, they never got any water out of it. No, never mind. If you win the lottery, you can bring your yacht here that you've bought with your winnings. But be careful where you park it, because if you want to get out in a hurry, you're screwed. And none of these are actually on water. What the hell? They're really into keep fit here in Conway. And um, they've even got a gym called Conway Muscles, where you get your muscles. I don't need to go because I'm muscly enough. This is a bolt that's been made out of matchsticks. It took them 50 years to get this far. I'm doing very well. The castle wall has towers on it every now and then. That's just because the builders got bored of going in straight lines. Don't forget rulers haven't been invented, so they just kind of made it up and every now and then you got a blob. They were very, very forward thinking. They built seats using solar panels, which automatically charge your phone up. Amazing! For 5,000 years ago anyway. The pigeons in Conway are huge and very aggressive. I've said many times that the Welshies are quite small, so they have small houses and small cottages. Well, <laughs> they're going to do better than that. Look at this. That is the smallest house in Great Britain and it is so small and I'm not a big guy. I can't get in. No. Oh. This tower here is actually in someone's garden. What? The wall has so many towers that I can't be bothered to count them. And they are spectacular. And they've even got a rather beautiful hole for the cars to drive through. Again, very very advanced for the time. Some very good advice here. We've managed to get up on the wall and look at the view. It's stunning. This is inside one of the towers. As you can see, they don't continue on the inside because they couldn't be bothered. And it's loved by animals, including the seagulls lying around here. Hey, Mr. Seagull, don't need me chips. But unfortunately, 
When they built this, they only invented floors. So you literally fall to your death in nettles. As we found out, you can walk around the walls, but there's one way system that kind of works and doesn't work at the same time. But only does it work if you don't do it right. Didn't work for us. This is a Frankenstein house where a wooden house was placed on top of a brick cottage. That was done in 1622 at 4.50 on the 8th of March. And it was right opposite a phallic symbol, which is right near the wall. As we've discovered in Wales, there's a lot of Latin written around on the shops. But I know what popti means. Popti is microwave, so it's a microwave bakery of Conway. Okay, um, on the top of these buildings here, which is a very nice building, let's be honest, uh, are birds, but look, they're not real birds, they're sculptures of birds. To scare off birds, I assume. It's not working though, because they've got three birds on there, even though they are sculptured. I love a good pub, me. I really do like a good pub. But I tell you what, what's better than a good pub? Two good pubs next to each other. That is unbelievable. You could say it's glass, which is unbelievable in Latin. door here is a recent addition to this lovely church. How do I know? Because next door is the old door. Although technically it's not next door, it's next wall now because it's not a door anymore. The church is so old that I think it was built before 1942, which makes it one of the oldest churches we've come across. But it is absolutely gorgeous. It's lovely. Okay, Brucey quiz time. Why is this church off center? I.e. the windows and the doors and even the clock are not actually in the middle of the tower. Well, Brucey answer, if you look close, you can see, where's my finger? There it is. See this line here? That shows that this bit here was built on extra for a, another reason. I can only assume because the vicar they got was slightly overweight and couldn't fit through the door. So we've got the church tower there and then we've got this lovely stained glass window. But, a bit like the castle, they didn't like people coming in and weren't invited. So what they've actually done is they built a moat around the church. So if you tried to break in, you'd fall to your death. But obviously because of health and safety these days, they've had to put grids on it. Oh. Another view of the wall which surrounds the whole town. It's almost like it protects it, like a protective wall. What a brilliant idea. Every time you should have one of these. Getting shouted at by the locals. That there is the entrance to the tunnel and the railway line literally is going next to where we are now. Sadly no trains are due for at least four hours and I'm not waiting here for four hours so just believe me it's a train tunnel and it was uh, designed by Isabard Blinking Brunel apparently. They've been updated anyway. So next to the uh, railway line is what we like to call the back side of the castle. Also, you can see the roadway that goes through the castle walls on this side. This is the first crane ever built, and it was used to build the railway line, the castle, and the railway bridge at the same time. Wow! This was also built by the Vikings, or whoever built the tower when they built the towers and the walls and everything. And this shows their journey across the oceans and the sky. 
and everything. Seth was one of them as well, apparently. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And it leads you to the car park of destiny here in Conway. They have a handy map as well, which is written in Latin on one side and in English on the other side, which is very helpful if you don't speak Latin. And it also shows where all the sites are, including the castle, that building, which I don't know if we saw that or not, I'm not sure, but we definitely saw that one. We didn't see those people. Um, we definitely saw that church. Uh, we didn't see those people looking into a portal in time. Uh, we did see the tiniest little house. Uh, we didn't see uh, an art gallery and we didn't see uh, Heather because it's not that time of year. Oh look, they've also got it in French as well. That's good, isn't it? Guess what they are? You'll never guess what they are. Never in a million years. Answer at the end of the programme. So if you want to come somewhere that's surrounded by uh, a massive wall, which is huge, and has lots and lots of gates in it, which are called gates, which are technically massive doorways. Although if you look at this one, you see it's got a thing there where they could drop things down on you if you tried to get through unannounced. Um, and you want to see a bit of the seaside and you like an old church and cheap parking, 60p after 6pm, you could do a lot worse than come to Conway. Until next time. Bye! Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's walk round. Bottom of a tower. Looking up to the top. Ah. Just done the walk round of Conway. And now we're going to drive round Conway. From the car park in Conway. And hopefully we're going to go through the wall. Preferably where there's a door or a gate. And get some interesting shots of Conway. Interesting shot of the sun. Oh, I missed the bus station. Where's the bus station if you're interested? Yeah, we go through the wall. Oh. Not bad. There's a view of the gates that we've just driven through. Now we're going to get a view of the wall. And this rather steep hill. We get a view of the harbour as well. Drive back through and go through the town centre with the castle in the distance at the end of the road. Much of seeing that every day, but really. here as well. And there you go. That was a little drive round. Can't wait to finish the video. Wall gates, well, the gate, no, sorry, I did. Let's have a game of guess what they are. You'll never guess. That's what they look like from underneath. But what are they? Have you figured it out? Well, you won't believe this. They're actually toilets. Where the waste, which has come down the wall, hence the wall being stained, and I'm, that means I'm stood in. Ugh, I'm getting out of here. 
So you want to come somewhere that's surrounded by a massive wall and got lots of gates in it and toilets as well, which is very handy, although you don't know that yet, so let's grab. So we've just, I've just done, the, oh, sorry again. Yeah, we can, damn it. Gone the wrong way, doesn't matter. I can edit this bit out. 